Well, the instructor gave me a few tips, and she was giving me a crash course so I could get refreshed in how to do CPR. When you have somebody and their life is in danger, maybe they've already stopped living and you're trying to bring them back to life, you can actually do some compressions on the middle of their chest. You do a certain amount and then you come and then you're going to breathe some oxygen back into them and give them a couple breaths and go back to your compressions and then after a certain while you go and you give them some and obviously I need to sign up and take the full two hour class. But my point is this, there's three kinds of people. There's people who are like me in high school. I was just learning this thinking I would never use it and I wanted to get a good grade on a test and it was just to add some knowledge to my head. But imagine if you were a second kind of person, someone you knew you were going to use this information. Imagine you were a lifeguard or a healthcare worker and you're like, wow, I really have to learn this. You're going to pay attention. You're going to practice and, and get some practice for a real life situation. You're not just studying to pass a grade on a written test. You're wanting to be ready in case you're having to save someone's life. But there's a third kind of person. There's a person just trying to pass the grade. There's a person who may be like a lifeguard. They know there's a good chance they might have to save somebody's life. But the third person is someone who knows they got to teach a class of lifeguards. Imagine if I told you next week you're teaching the class on CPR for 30 lifeguards. They're going to work in the city of Chicago in the summer at Lake Michigan. Then if you knew you were going to teach and somebody was teaching you, you're like, wait, pause, hold up a second. Can you re-explain that? Can you make sure? Can you look? Am I doing everything just right? If you knew you were going to have to be a teacher, you would really study hard because you wouldn't want to teach those 30 lifeguards something that's wrong. It's a lot like that when you're making disciples. When you make a disciple, you know that your calling is not just to get head information. This is stuff you're going to use in real life. This is stuff that could change someone's eternal death. Destiny. And so you're learning because you're going to put it to use. But not only are you learning because you're going to put it to use, Jesus said every disciple has been called to make disciples. And when you're a disciple that makes disciples, you're going to teach over your lifetime for sure 30 people. You're going to make disciples. You're going to teach others. You're going to answer their questions. You're going to pour into their life. And so what if you thought that you were going to Teach what you're learning every Sunday. When you open your Bible to do your devotions, that what you're learning, you're called by God to share that with others. You're going to really study. You're going to take notes. You're going to really think through it. You're going to raise your hand, ask questions. You're going to dig deeper. And so every disciple is called to make disciples. What you learn, you're going to be teaching to others. And so learn it well.